Now, check this out, you guys. I've actually followed these guys on Instagram, so I'll put their, inter um, their Instagram in the description down below, but... Whew. You, you got their M4, you got their Z, you got their Z over here. Check out this M5 right here. Whew. Look at that. He had it wrapped up. Look at look at that. Carbon fiber diffuser as well. Carbon, carbon, we got a gloss black um, spoiler as well. Woo! I love the wheels that this thing have, has on it as well. Look at that. It looks really nice. Whoa! Whoa! Oh! Awesome, dude! <laughs> that was awesome! <laughs> yes, that was this thing right here, you guys. I, I don't think it has, you know, a modified exhaust. If it does have a modified exhaust, I guess it may have like the, the, the sport exhaust that this thing has on it. Now an M5 is starting. Oh boy. And this one looks pretty amazing as well. Sounds amazing too when you, when you first start up too. Okay. Not bad. Whew. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I think he opened the baffles of his exhaust. Never mind. My goodness! We also have over here, you know, Audi R8, Mercedes AMG GT S. Mm. Not bad. Not bad. Nice, nice looking rides we have here today. Woo. Oh no, this this M5 is leaving as well. What do you guys think of that M5? I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. This looks so nice. Woo. Check out that GTR right there, you guys. It actually has a nice red striping right in the front of it. It actually looks really nice in the front. It also has the red interior color as well. Woo. This isn't bad. This isn't bad. And a lot of people usually ask me, hey, Polk, what are some good, like, you know, reliable, super sports cars? And I say some of the some of the following. It depends on how much you want to spend. You want to spend as much as a GTR, GTR, Audi R8, you know, cars of that nature. The GTR is a good, reliable one. It has a V6, you know, turbocharged, and it's, you know, price the when you want to if something breaks on this thing yeah it's gonna be expensive but it's not gonna be as expensive as a Lamborghini or a Ferrari it's not gonna be that expensive an Audi R8 is pretty reliable as well like I said before some stuff break yeah it's gonna be expensive but it's not gonna be as expensive you know as other car vehicles as other vehicles as well and I mean if you getting up to like the pricing of like stuff like this this my advice 570s or Lamborghini Huracan or the Performante, believe it or not. All of the all of the all of those three vehicles I just mentioned, very reliable and really good money for what you're getting. Yeah, the 570s is going to be faster than your Huracan, but I mean, if you're going to have as much, if you have the exact same amount of money you want to pay for one of these, you can also get like 570s and Huracans for around the same price used obviously if you if you get them new they're gonna be really expensive <laughs> oh my goodness that's pretty dope that's really cool look at that you guys <laughs> that's pretty cool and for people who said that's not cool that's extraordinarily cool wow <laughs> beautiful SS right there Okay, not bad, not bad. Got a Ford Focus ST, got a Golf right there. Ooh, 
look at look at that Miata, you guys. Not bad. Okay, okay, okay. Beautiful Corvette over here. Beautiful Stingray too. Okay. Oh, it's a Z51 Stingray. Okay. We got a lot of beautiful cars out here today, you guys. Look at this. Oh my moly, we got a ZL1. I like everything. Look at that. Sounds so aggressive too. Wow. Love the, and he has a, a modified exhaust on it as well. Okay. Okay. No wonder it sounded different. Looks so mean. <laughs> we got a beautiful previous generation Corvette. I'm assuming because I don't see the ZL1, the ZR1, I'm assuming that that one left. Unfortunately. Check that one out, you guys. We got a beautiful and beautiful red ZL1. Holy crap. <laughs> Looks, looks freaking insane. <laughs> oh my God, looks so good. Nope, I was wrong. Woo! What the heck was that? Oh no, it was the, no, it was the, it was, oh crap, it was the CL1. Oh, that's what it was. It was the CL1, I thought it was a Prius. I was like, no. Sounds so awesome. Oh, by the way, why is a Prius here? <laughs> okay. Woo! Okay, okay. Okay. Not, not bad, not bad. Oh, he's lowering. Ooh. Seriously, you guys, this, this is the R1 with the, also the gold trim. I just realized that this, this owner still kept the gold trim theme. Ooh. Seriously, this is the R1 with the gold trim. I really love it. I really love this car. <laughs> this car is so, 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 so. So, so, so amazing, you guys. It's so freaking good. It's good, it's nice looking, and it, it, it's just an overall amazing car. car. If I had the amount of money in order to go for a 570S or, you know, a Huracan, I would say, screw all that, I'm gonna get a CR1. What, now, the question is, would I get it with the ZTK package? Um. Probably, but I will also consider the, you know the the drag version of the ZR1, you know the one with the lower wing and less um, drag. But this one right here, I love this wing. Oh, I don't know, you guys. Let me let me know in the comment section down below. Would you guys rather get the non-ZTK, which will allow you to have a better top speed, or would you rather have the big wang and? have a more of a track focused car that you can take to the track i mean both of them are pretty much track focused cars both kinds are both track focused but this but this one is specifically track focused and the other ver variant is a drag focused um corvette it allows you to reach their top speed faster you know easier beautiful grand sport right here you got a z06 over there z06 right there check out that vinyl on that corvette you guys Whew. Looks looks nice. The owner is closing it up. Woo! As I said, with the non-ZTK package, the own um, you you don't it's a, it has a much smaller wing on it. Okay. Woo! Good evening. Is this the cars and coffee. Yes, sir. Cars and coffee. Whoa! <laughs> that 
puts every ZL1 to shame. Oh my gosh, it sounds so good. Oh. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you later. Oh my god, this thing sounds so good. It looks so good. Oh my gosh. I freaking love us. I freaking love the CR1. Oh my god. And with the ZTK package on it as well, that beautiful weighing on it as well. Oh my gosh. Woo, woo. I'm so glad I get I got a chance to see this car before he left. Thank God. It looks so good. Hey Clarence! Mm. What's going on, man? What's going on, guys? How you doing? Good, good. How are you? Good, dude. Nice to meet you again. Nice to meet you again, dude. What time you get up in this morning? Like six. <laughs> yeah, early then. Yeah. How many cars are here at six? No, no, I got no. I didn't get here like six. I got here like we're like eight forty-five. Uh, when did you park? Like all the way down there, unfortunately. I was I was hoping you got here early so I could look for you and see if I can park right beside you. Yeah. yeah. Good out right. Mm. I mean, the guy started up and he revved it. He scared the crap out of me because I was so close to the exhaust. As soon as he revved it, I I jumped and backed up. Mm.